and never to rule over him. And after much sweat, blood and toil, her labors ended, and the world marveled at what she wrought. They shall be named Mal Good to see you back. I've got complaints in the Nord Noble Tavern that some mercenaries have invaded. Nothing violent has happened. The cell swords are probably just disturbing the nobles' rarefied conversation. Just drum the louts out of there. The barkeep doesn't mind some blood. Or sport, as she called it. Captain said, Denrim won't miss a few dead mercenaries. Do what you will, and good luck. What can I get you, stranger? What can I get you, stranger? Right, I'll show you around. What are you looking at? We're the Crimson Oars. Oh, you're threatening us. We're veterans of many battles. Who are you? Hmm? I, um, we, well, we were just leaving. Yes, Oars, we go to the docks. Edwina sends her thanks for getting rid of the Crimson Oars. Mind you, she's disappointed there was no fighting. Here's payment. You've helped out a great deal. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret, after all. But, after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking and... Well, I found out she's still alive. In Denerim. No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar, and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that... 
Maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about her except her name and where she lives. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. That's my sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is, yes, this is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. Hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. Let, let's just go. Uh, hello? Hey, you have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Dana? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? No, no, don't go. I... please, stay for now. Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. D do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead! They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. <laughs> For all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did, and I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. And who in the Maker's name are you? Some servant of his to carry all his riches, I expect. Hey, don't speak to him that way. He's my friend, and a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Well, so he's found it. I'm his sister. But what are you to me, boy, except the one who took my mother away, hmm? You think I wished her dead? I never wanted that. I didn't have the life you think I did, Goldana. I suppose not. A bastard is still a bastard, isn't he? But... Brother or no, I've got five mouths to feed and no time to spare until they are. And let me promise you this, Goldana. I'll do whatever I can, speak to whomever I have to, to ensure you and your children are taken care of. Hmm, that sounds all well and fine. But you'll have to forgive me if I don't exactly hold my breath. You have my promise. I can't give you more than that. I... Let's go. I want to go. Goodbye, sister. Well, 
That was not what I expected, to put it lightly. I lived up to my promise, I suppose, but this is the family I've been wondering about all my life? I can't believe it. I... I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I... I feel like a complete idiot. Yes, I'm sorry too. I guess I should have known better. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs>